The story is about a young man named Joey who found himself arrested by police after stealing his aunt's car. In a cell for the first time, Joey falls asleep and dreams of an accident which happened in his childhood. The one-hour, one-man play is the brainchild of Paco Meja, the Guadalupian playwright and actor who has chosen Grenada as his first stop on his tour to share his work and culture in the Caribbean. Major explains the genesis of the play entitled Chanzi, which highlights the traumatic experiences of a young boy. It's hardly, we hardly talk about it in the Caribbean. The trauma in the childhood, the trauma in the community, the trauma in the same, in, even on, the, on your own family. So I find that topic, it was really, really interested to talk about it because in the Caribbean we have a lot of suffering like that, about the trauma, when you're young, how the people treat you, how the family treat you, how the community treat you. So for me, it was important to talk because it's something, it's something I really f live. I lived this trauma when I was young. So and I, and I tend to explain what happened when you feel, when you live this kind of trauma, how that can uh, give you a direction, another direction in your life. He is being accompanied on tour by Dominique Hubert, Cultural Cooperation Officer with the Regional Council of Guadeloupe. So the, Guadeloupe is part of the, the, the OECS, a member, associate member of the OECS. And they have this project, a competition, which, which called Cooperate with the Countries of the OECS. And there were three candidates from Guadeloupe. Um, Paco was one of them. So we had this project made with the OECS, and Paco won with the three others. So the, the regional council financially paid the, 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 the project in OECO, and then the project in OECO gave the money to Paco to have his tour. And Grenada, from what I know, is the first country, and we hope that it will go on in St. Lucia, in all the countries of the OECO. That's the goal of it. The collaboration is one of the fruits reaped from a long-standing relationship between Major and Dr. Christopher Williams, who is the founder and director of C.R. Williams Performing Arts Academy. Paco Major and I, we met in Jamaica while I went to study in Jamaica. And he also came over to Jamaica to study, but he spoke French. And I spoke French and English, and so I was able to translate his work for him, interpret, and help him by teaching him English so that he was able to master that, and then go and learn his work and present it in English. So we had a good bond that happened there in Jamaica. It never ended, so when he went back to Guadeloupe, now he won this competition to come and to tour the Caribbean, I would say. And he decided to come to Grenada to give back and share the arts with us as a form of gratitude. The occasion marks the first time a Guadeloupian play is staged in the English-speaking Caribbean. Chanzi will be staged on Thursday at 1 p.m. and a Saturday from 6 p.m. Major's initiative has received just under 10,000 euros in financial backing from the Guadeloupian government. For GBN News, I'm Nisha Paul.